Depending on which Bissell featherweight you're looking for, are you more interested in the corded editions or the cordless editions? And including in the cordless editions, they come in different variations. There is the XRT unit, which has the larger battery with 14.4 volts, which gives you about 25 minutes of runtime versus the standard featherweight cordless two-in-one. So the Bissell featherweight cordless operates on a 10.8 volt lithium ion battery, which provides about 20 minutes of runtime and it charges in four and a half hours. What the secret of the XRT units are is that not only are they gonna be coming with some cool components, but they're very easy to use. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, let me explain to you that on the XRT and on the two-in-one, you're gonna be getting the same identical brush roll. So these are, these are both coming with swivel. And that what that means is that if I was to recline it, I can go back and forth and left and right back and forth and left and right. Same thing on the XRT, I can go back and forth and left and right. Back and forth and left and right. Which gives me a lot more maneuverability options over the traditional featherweight, which can only go back and forth. There is no swivel here. This cannot go left and right. If you take a close up look at the design here, both are gonna be coming with these elbow joints. And that's because you can now up the handle and you can, have it handle built in. So this has one of those like flexible adjustable handles that you do not have to worry about where you place the handle rod for your handheld or for as a floor model. Same thing on your XRT, just raise this up and it's gonna be able to stand up on its own. Another key difference will be that on the Bissell XRT, you have different buttons here. So those buttons are gonna correspond with the functions. Now you have your power button. This is going to be your change and this is going to be your high and low suction modes. On your non XRT, it will only come with roller on and off and your power button on the handle. Again, on the XRT, here is what it looks like. You have the handle. So if you have either of the cordless versions of the Bissells, well, you can pop out this, which is going to be the handheld unit. The handheld unit comes with various attachments, easy to attach attachments, such as, such as the crevice tool. So you just pop it in and now suddenly I have the ability to turn it off. On the, on the featherweight cordless XRT, even though on the handle you have the high and low, on the handheld mode, you will only be able to put it on one setting, which is the high setting. This is going to be on, this is going to be the dusting tool. Now the dusting tool comes in a slightly stranger configuration. So you have to use it this way because it is inserted flat. Now that you've seen all our units, let's see what the suction power is like. So currently we have filled up, oh, we've, we've been testing ours repeatedly. So I have a good sense of what they're capable of. Now the featherweight has a 15 foot cord. This will not come with all of the attachments you might get on the cordless versions, um, but that's okay because this, even though it's not gonna have the adjustable or powered brush roll, even though it doesn't have, you know, some of the uh, mod modular. So even though the featherweight does not come with the powered brush roll, it has this much more conventional sweeper style that doesn't have any active brush roll at all. It is very good at picking up particles off the floor, off smooth surfaces, even off of carpet. And that's because corded is powerful. Corded comes with a two amp motor here. This works. So let me show you how well it works. And then let's show you how the cordless works. So this is on a smooth surface here. If I wanna take out the dust cup, it's very straightforward. I just unclip mine. I'm gonna be popping out the filter and just See all the various debris. Here is the reservoir, and that's the debris that we've collected. I would say that the Fissile Featherweight performed very well in this test. It is smooth sounding motor. It is not too loud. It is, uh, it just works two in one cordless. So one more time, we're gonna be adding in our debris to our table. 
on the cordless. For this test, we're not going to be using the brush roll, so I just want to press this. And then if I press this one more time, I will have no brush roll active. So the brush roll is not spinning. Not spinning. Did a great job there. All right, so here we're just going to be removing our filter. These are washable. And I could set it up just as easily just by placing it back. If I want to put it away, I could just adjust it by using the trigger. There's a trigger here. You just press that up and this will undo the handle. And now I could place this in the corner of my room or wherever I want to store it just as easily and I'll store. We'll release some Rice Krispies onto our table. Because this has multiple settings, you have the ability to turn it on, turn the brush roll on and turn it on low. For this particular application, because we are running it on a smooth surface, we're not gonna have the brush roll on and we're gonna turn it on low first. So here we go. Power, no brush roll, on low. Even though the particles are so big, it did a great job picking Empty. up everything. So for the follow-up, we're going to be emptying our XRT one more time. I really like how Bissell did this. They have a curved bottom so you could place it flatter to your surface. And this is real household debris. So I took that from my Dyson after vacuuming my house twice, three times. And this is on the XRT. I find that the XRT does the best job in terms of picking up a whole host of different particles. And that could be because it has a more powerful battery, which means it just has more powerful suction. While the cordless two-in-one, it does a great job on its own. And you won't probably see such a huge difference between the two in terms of their overall performance. So ultimate verdict here is that if you want to get corded, I think the featherweight corded is so good and it's an incredible value. But if you want to go cordless, both are going to be very comparable. If you want more battery life and you want the high or low settings, then you want to go with the XRT. There is no right answer here. All three work very well. Their performance is somewhat comparable. It just depends on what features you're looking for. So I hope I was able to help you pick which featherweight to get. And I'll catch you next time. This is David with the French Clothes signing off. Bye, bye, bye.